Hey everyone, talking about Strawberry Moon by Sniff. They partnered with The Good Time Hotel, which is co-owned by Pharrell Williams in Miami and has an on-site pool club called Strawberry Moon. And the scent is kind of based around sun, pool, lounging, partying in Miami. So the notes in this are strawberry, of course, jasmine, leather, bergamot, pink pepper, iris, saffron, vetiver, amber, and woods. First of all, this doesn't smell niche, I'll say that, and it I don't think it's supposed to. It's $65 for a 30 mil. I'm sure if it was sold in 100 mil, then it would be cheaper than what the equivalent of that would be, like which would be closer to 200, but it does smell really appealing to me. I would say it almost smells something like if you took one of the lighter Marc Jacobs Daisy flankers and added a little bit of leather and amber to it. It also smells, and I've seen people say this, I could totally see it, like those kind of like fake doll heads that are supposed to smell like strawberry or something, like the little strawberry shortcake one or something like that. And that might sound like an insult, but I do think it smells good. So this definitely leans feminine, more so than something I would want to wear myself. It's not really my type of thing. I was hoping the leather would be a little bit more present. Nonetheless, I do think it smells really good, and I would think this smelled fantastic on someone. So it's pretty linear. Uh, what you get from the opening is kind of what you get, and it doesn't last very long. So those are points against it for a lot of people. But I think if you use this in the right context, like say you were just going out for a fun vacation dinner or like kind of a hot day and just something that you were just wanted to throw on for a few hours, it could be a really good scent. It keeps selling out apparently and it's limited edition. I will put a link in the description where the bottles are sold as well as where you can get a sample. And as of this filming, the samples are still easily available to get so you can check it out. It's not necessarily overly floral. It's more just that the strawberry is kind of what makes it lean a bit feminine. So yeah, very strawberry and synthetic, but in a nice way, kind of like how synthetic strawberry candy is often considered one of the best flavors. A little bit of leather with the saffron kind of going with that and giving it a little bit of a refined edge. And then maybe the iris or something, adding like a tiny bit of clean soapiness. So I'm sure there's many other cheapies out there Designers maybe, but really this kind of seems more like a cheapy scent profile that smells similar, but I do think this is really good. I know it's really trendy at the moment, so all the more reason that it's been selling out and whatnot. Um, I wouldn't recommend if you don't, if you're really on, you know, a budget and you're really trying to stretch how far, you know, say $65 would get with fragrance, I wouldn't recommend going out of the way to get this, but I would recommend sampling it if you like strawberry, because it is very pleasant, and as mentioned, if I smelled this on someone else, I would be like, oh, you smell so good. It almost reminds me, not at all of a dupe of this, but like a much, much, much cheaper version of a Delina type of scent, specifically like maybe Delina Exclusive or the original, not the La Rose version, combined with like a Marc Jacobs Daisy. So yeah, uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the description as mentioned. And if you have any other good strawberry scent recommendations, let me know, because I'm definitely enjoying this.